The Quick Selection Tool is one of the selection tools that you'll use the most. With the Quick Selection Tool, you just brush over part of an image to select that area. It's most useful for quickly selecting content that has a well-defined, high-contrast edge, like the sky in this photo. Select the Quick Selection Tool in the Tools panel, and then go up to the Options bar and make sure that Auto Enhance is checked. This option can help avoid jaggedy selection edges with the Quick Selection Tool so it's a good idea to turn it on. Notice that by default, the Quick Selection tool is set to the first option in the Options bar, which is Create a New Selection. And there's also an Add to Selection option and a Subtract from Selection option that we'll be exploring as we work. Now, go into the image and start painting in the sky. And as you do, the Quick Selection tool expands the selection and stops where it finds an edge which is basically a place where dark pixels meet light pixels, like here where the sky meets the mountain. Notice that when you release your finger from the mouse, the Combine option up here in the Options bar changes automatically to the Add To Selection option. So if you don't get the entire area on your first swipe, you can just paint some more to add to the initial selection without having to manually switch to the Add To option, as you do for other selection tools like the Marquee and Lasso tools. Now sometimes the tool will paint over more than you want. In that case, hold down the Option key, that's the Alt key on Windows, and drag over areas that you want to remove from the selection. Now that we have a selection of the sky, let's use it to darken the sky without affecting the rest of the image. Go to the Layers panel and click the Create New Adjustment Layer icon and choose Levels. In the Properties panel, go to the middle slider and drag it just a little to the right to darken the midtones in the selected sky. And that will make the sky look a little darker blue overall. Now let's try making a more complex selection with the Quick Selection tool. I'm going to select the background layer, go up to the Options bar, and set this to its initial Create New Selection option and then I'll click and drag over this cliff on the right. That's selected a little more than I would like, so I'm going to clean up the edge of the selection by holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, which changes my brush to the Subtract from Selection option. And then I'll click and drag over the areas that I don't want to include in this selection. As you work, you can change the brush size. I want to make my brush smaller, so I'll press the left bracket key on my keyboard a few times. That's the key just to the right of the P key. Then I'll hold down the Option or Alt key again, and I'll remove some areas that I don't want to include in this selection. And sometimes you have to do some back and forth between subtracting from the selection and adding to the selection until you get just the selection that you like. Now that we have a selection, Let's add another Levels Adjustment layer to adjust just this area. I'll go to the bottom of the Layers panel, and again, I'll click the Add Adjustment Layer icon and choose Levels. And this time, I'll drag the white slider over to the left to brighten up the very brightest areas. And now I want to make the midtones a little darker, so I'll take the gray slider and I'll drag it slightly to the right. And finally, I'll take the black slider and I'll drag that slightly to the right to bring back some contrast. Let's see a before and after. I'll go down to the Layers panel, and I'll hold the Option key, that's the Alt key on Windows, as I click the eye icon to the left of the background layer. And that shows us just the background layer, the original photo, without the changes we just made. I'll Option or Alt click that eye icon again to show you the after version with the targeted adjustments that we were able to make so quickly with the Quick Selection tool.